Hello, hey, hi, hello, I hope you're good. Um, I had a, um, um, a recent, recently I, I, I've been thinking about, how, actually, you know, I'm gonna address the Great Pyramid. <laughs> so I changed, I didn't change my mind just to say, look, I, I, I want to do it and let's just start and let's see uh, how long it's gonna take, I don't know, but yeah. So today, the uh, I think I wanna uh, talk to you about um, the first ever report on the Great Pyramid of Khufu, and is about Herodotus. So I'm gonna show you uh, my screen a little bit, and I've done a little bit of a research. So, um, so you get. Uh, wait, I'm gonna make this like this. So easy. Okay. So you you should be able to to read. Um, so Herodotus wrote uh, a big book <laughs> composed by many books, um, which was called um, Histories. And the book number two is all about ancient Egypt. And now I've been researching the word pyramid in the, in the book, and I found out that there are three main things uh, that were very interesting. Um, so for example, he mentioned that uh, the quarries of the quarries that were used to quarry the stones of the pyramids are in the Arabian mountains. We, that doesn't mean that are in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> that means that the Arabian mountains are the m m mountains on the east of the Nile, whether the mountains of the west are the Libyan mountains. So this is stated here, uh, as you can see in this um, in this quote. Uh, which is interesting, right? And that's now, it's, it be, and it's very like realistic because today the quarries are still there. They're, they're still being used. Uh, they're some of them. I mean, they have very like a few quarries, but one of which is the Tura uh, quarry. Now he's not very specific in the name, but that we know that the Tura limestone used to case the pyramids. So, but not the whole pyramid was not quarried in that uh, specific part. Uh, of Egypt, but uh, for example, the pyramid of Khufu was quarried. I mean, yeah, in principle, <laughs> was quarried on site. So I'm gonna show you probably in some video uh, in the future. Um, so corrosion, corrosion was the number two topic that um, I found out. So basically, he stated that either for both give credit to those who relate these things concerning Egypt, and. Uh, I uh, am myself persuaded of their truth when I see that Egypt projects beyond the adjoining land. Uh, that shells are found on the mountains that a saline humor forms on the surface so as even to corrode the pyramids. Now whether the corrosion happened inside of the pyramids or outside, this is not stated, this is not clear from the obviously here, he doesn't... but. It's probably on the outside, right? Um, because he never mentions really internal chambers. And I'm gonna show you soon. Yeah. He mentions uh, other stuff. Yeah. Um, so then, number three, uh, the big topic, the reign of Cheops. And here is where Herodotus tells us um, about how they build the pyramids, uh, from what he's been told. Remember, this is 500 BC. So it's 2000 years after the actual construction of the pyramid. Yeah. And somebody is writing me on WhatsApp. I hope you don't, you don't hear that. I, I closed my WhatsApp on desktop, but it, it, it doesn't work. <laughs> All right. um, so yeah, let's read it together. Um, uh, let's start, bro. But they, uh, now they told me that in the reign of Ram Sinitus, there was a perfect distribution of justice and that all Egypt was in high state of prosperity. But that after him, Cheops, which is Khufu, um, coming to reign over them, plunged into every kind of wickedness. For that having shut up all the temples, he first of all forbade them to offer sacrifice, and afterward he ordered all the Egyptians to work for himself. Some accordingly, accordingly were appointed to draw stones from the quarries in the Arabian mountains down to the Nile, others he ordered to receive the stones when transported in vessels across the river, and to drag them to the mountain called the Libyan, which is the, the Giza Plateau, 
and they worked to the number of a hundred thousand men at a time each party during three months so basically if it's three months uh, in one year there were four parties and four parties means four hundred thousand people like in total like rotating in a, in a rota so maybe maybe i'm wrong but this is what i understood and then the time during which the people were thus har harassed by toil lasted 10 years on the road you know they built the road which they constructed along which they drew the stones that work in my opinion not much less than the pyramid so basically he's saying that in 10 years they built the road to to the pyramid they, probably he's referring to the um, causeway that brings to the pyramid of Khafre maybe for its length is five states I don't know how much a state is uh, probably it's a hundred meters uh, and it's with ten orgie and its height where it is the highest eight orgie and it is of polished stones with figures carved on it which this we know is kind of true because we know that for example in Dashur some pyramids have the uh, like you know the causeway like the bent pyramid for example and uh, w w figures are not found there but uh, I remember we we found already like information about the causeways being having walls to, st to both sides the three meters high tolls and those will have uh, figures on the on the on the walls. So uh, with figures on, uh, with figures carved on it on this road, then ten years were expanded and informing the subterranean apartments on the hill on which the pyramid stands, which he made as a burial vault for himself in an island formed by draining a canal from the Nile. So he says, in ten years they build the road, other ten years they spent to do the subterranean apartments on the hill which to me this doesn't seems like he's speaking about the uh, subterranean chamber of the Great Pyramid to me this is not what yeah. he's talking about um, and, uh, and, and he says that the boreal vault of Khufu is actually on an island that was formed by dry draining the Nile um, in one of those apartments on the hill, like, what? <laughs> could that could be like the what is called now the Osiris shaft? That could, you know, potentially that could be, um, you know, uh, a way to imagine this. So he says that yes, the pyramid was not a tomb, right? Probably, in this case, if the burial vault is outside, the pyramid is not a tomb. Uh, this is, I mean, Herodotus, it's not me, <laughs> but... So 20 years were spent in erecting the pyramids itself. So 10 years for the road, 10 years for the subterranean apartments, he called, and 20 years for the actual pyramid itself. On this, which is square, each face is 8 plethra and the height is the same. It is composed of polished stones and jointed with the greatest um, exactness. None of the stones are less than 30 feet. Well, we know there are less than 30 feet. This pyramid was built thus in the form of steps. Ah, this is where he starts to speak about how they built. So this is very interesting. Keep, uh, keep, stay, stay with me. So in the form of first was done in the form of steps, like a step uh, pyramid of um, of um, uh, of Saqqara, for example. Okay, um, which some call cross other bomites. But well, doesn't matter. Uh, when they had first built in this manner so fir first they build the step pyramid then raised the remaining stones by machines made of short pieces of wood okay so basically it's kind of like you know lifting the stones with the you put a stone here then you put a stone here this is you know you just try to you know uh, bring them up uh, layer by layer Having lifted them from the ground to the first range of steps, the, when the stone arrived there, it was put on another machine that stood ready on the first range, and from this it was drawn to the second range on another machine, for the machine were equal in number to the range of steps, or they removed the machine, which was only one, and portable. To each range in succession, whenever they wish to raise the stone higher, for I should relate in both ways as it is related. The highest parts of the pyramid, therefore, were first finished and afterward they completed the parts next following but last of all they finished all the parts on the ground 
and that were lowest. Um, so let me see. I think we have one. Uh, we have a f another thing to talk about. So on the pyramid is on the ground, and um, on the pyramid is shown an inscription. So in Egyptian characters, uh, with the details of how much they spent in terms of onions, garlic, and workmen and radishes. Um, so, which is kind of cool. And if it, if this um, and if this be really the case, how much more was probably spended in iron tools, which he didn't know they didn't have iron back then, in bread and in clothes for the laborers. Uh, so basically he's just saying here that it's just mind blowing the, the amount of, uh, uh, you know, resources that they Egyptian had to put to build the pyramid. Um, now he, now he tells about the story about his daughter here, which I'm not going to tell. Um, and then he says that Cheops reigned for 50 years, whether we know that, uh, for, for the record, what do we have? Kyofu reigned from what 20 to 25 years, I feel like that, uh, from archaeology. So less than Snefru because <laughs> Snefru built three pyramids. Um, yeah, so I think this was the last thing I wanted to tell you is having laid the first course of variegated Ethiopian stones less in height than the other by 40 feet, he built it near the large pyramid. Um, yeah, so basically he's saying here that yeah they used also Ethiopian stones and Ethiopian stones are what we know as granite. So and uh, it's where it, because uh, Catherine built the first layers, the first I don't remember how many, like first six layers, I don't remember, but with the um, with the casing stones of granite and uh, so this is was but uh, Herodotus speaks about other pyramids. It's not just the Great Pyramid. So, uh, but I w just wanted to show. This is like the series of video I'm gonna uh, make now. It's all about the Great Pyramid. So it's not like you know. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is the report. <laughs> I think I I hope now we. I mean, let's let's make a like a sort of conclusion. So there is no mention of tunnels. So there is no mention of the descending corridor. So, which means that probably the pyramid back then was either, yeah, it was probably sealed, right? He doesn't mention any entrance. So, and if that's the case, the, the casing stones were probably still there, at least in the, until the entrance, right? Um, yeah, so the, he doesn't mention chambers like queen, king chamber, queen chamber, you know, the sub, you know, he mentions the apartments on the hill which I believe are, you know, the ones uh, like where, you know, where the quarries are today, yeah, you know. I wonder, I wonder what, <laughs> to what he is referring to. I think, he, I think, well, whatever. I mean, you let me know if you know, it uh, would be nice. Um, but yeah, so this was it. And I, yeah, I just, I came back to making videos. Uh, it, it was, it was a while. So I guess uh, if you like the video, yeah, just like the video if you want. If you if you like to subscribe, yeah, please do because we just started the Great Pyramid of Giza series. So, so yeah, um, yeah, okay. See you soon. Bye bye.